Hi, I'm Tinder from Rada. I'm the MD of the company. Um, we started off approximately 17 years ago. We started from scratch. We built up the business with hard work, dedication. Um, we're very passionate on our business. Um, I felt that we don't want to just, you know, um, follow other companies. We want to be, be set aside as being our own um, excellence. It's not an event, it's an habit. That's what we believe, that's what we live on. Um, I do take all my people, my staff, my clients, I do take them, um, I look after them. Um, I make sure um, that everybody's looked after. If there's problems in the business, I deal with it. I think uh, in, any, in any business, um, it's very important that the staff that works for you are, are happily at their work. 90% of the time they do spend at work, so I wanna make it you know, nice for, for each and every staff member working for us and yeah and i think there's um we've shown a lot of uh, growth over the past i would say four or five years we've invested into a lot of state-of-the-art machinery that is a very important part of the business for myself making sure that we you know we're out there we make sure that the machines are run on the best technology possible we work also with with winner compusoft that does our designing program uh, with the sales consultants designing on the on the best in South Africa. I think CompuSoft is the best best program possible for the kitchen industry. Um, so yeah, I think we're on the right track. We make sure our downtime in the factory is minimal. You know, we partnership ourselves with, with some of the best brands out there. So yeah, um, you know, with, with the George Bronze opening, I think um, we ensure that our lead times are, are scheduled accordingly and obviously with the Joburg branch as well, you know, so I would say, you know, to put the cherry on the cake is that my people, you know, that works under me from Jason downwards, we ensure, we make sure um, and we, we take the business on our hearts and we do the very best and we make sure the clients are happy. And obviously with, with having a business and having, you know, we've got a staff, staff recruitment of, of 150 people working for us. You know, we get our day-to-day -day problems as of any business, but we ensure, we make sure, you know, we, we, we find out what the problem is. We get to the bottom of it. We've got our Tuesday daily management meetings to make sure, you know, is everything up to track? Is everything, is there any issues or, you know, and we sort it out. Uh, like I say, we run our business. Um, we've got a well-trained business, I would say. And, and that's it. My name is Sheena van Bredal. I'm the financial director at Universal Kitchens. Um, we run the business, Clinton and myself being the owners. We are a family-owned business and we are passionate about what we do. Um, I'm a mother of two, but absolutely a workaholic. Um, every project that we do takes our utmost attention and I'm also in the heart of sourcing every single product out there, making sure that we're on top of our game and getting the best products at the best prices. My name is Jason Nall. I've been with the company now for about six years. I started out on the factory floor and I'm currently the Director of Operations. I work very closely with the Managing Director, Clinton from Badar and our two factory managers to ensure smooth day-to-day -day operations run smoothly in the factory as well as on site. Hi, my name is Petros Mzalose. Uh, I'm working at Universal Kitchens and Granite. I've been with the company for 15 years now. Um, my job is to make sure that everything goes smooth in the factory. Hi, my name is Andre van Eden. I've been with Universal Kitchens for eight years and together with uh, myself and Alisma, we're heading up our uh, contract section portfolio of the company and we have been blessed over a number of years of uh, being some, getting some nice projects with uh, uh, commercial developments. Hi, I'm Hendrik Kreer. I'm involved with final measurements and making of orders that goes into our factory. I'm also involved with the technical side of things. George and our Jabba
Hi, I'm Rob from Universal Kitchens. I've been with the company for just over two years. I love that I'm working in an industry where nobody gets the same product twice. We literally put boxes on the wall, but no two boxes are the same. The colors, the handles, whatever we do makes it look unique and different for each customer that we deal with. And that's what I love most about my job. Minky, welcome to George. Finally, Thank you. Th finally. Show. It is so nice to be here. Now I can, I don't just have to imagine, I can see how incredible Universal Kitchens are for myself. Yes, I agree 100%. Yes, thanks for so, having me. So, to start off, what's your favorite um, part of our showroom, of our beautiful Ooh. boutique selection showroom in George? Can I be very honest? Please. The fact that that door opens like with the press of a button and it's like mechanical, it does, it's like a garage, garage door, it opens on, on its own, that is amazing. But it's very hard to choose um, a favourite because the show, showroom is absolutely beautiful. And all the colours, and all the colours, yes. the trends. Yes, um, it's, 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 I think it's we very different. On. So you can see there's a lot of different styles and it caters for everyone. So Minky, what's your favorite style in the kitchen um, that we're showcasing here and what's in the in the trends of today? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? Well, I am a jeans and t-shirts kind of girl next door, but I love good quality and I think that's why we're a very good match um, because it's all about great service and good quality. Um, but if I have to choose one, I would probably choose the modern farmhouse. Is that what you call it? Modern country. Modern yes. country. Yes. Similar what you did on the Minky show. Exactly. Exactly. In the and studio. Yeah. So um, obviously that that's a bright blue, like a Quinnings blow. Yes. Um, yes. I love I love that kitchen. Now I need to just take that kitchen and put it into my house. We'll, we'll organize that behind the scenes. Okay, um, so let's talk kitchen trends. What are the current kitchen trends? So the current kitchen trends varies. It depends on if you do if you do ultra modern. I think ultra modern is, is your whites, your greys, your blacks. If you go more towards the the modern country, uh, we're talking more duco. So it would be more of your natural, well, not just natural colours, but like your blues, like we did at your show, mm -hmm. blue and the white uh, cream etc you know and then obviously combined with different variants of, of appliance styles mm. uh, from what we showcased in the black modern kitchen um, being the the slimline look uh, you know the smeg the smeg slimline look and then obviously in the country modern country kitchen mm. we got we got the more country style uh, oven freestanding mm. oven with variants of colors you know the, your, your yellow, your, your red, yes. the anthracite colors, etc. Yeah. Et et mm -hmm. yeah. And let's talk a little bit more about the kitchen that you did for the Minky Show. So, of course, it is absolutely beautiful. It's brand new, it is blue. Um, and I think it's very hard to choose my favorite part, but I would say what do you the, like? color, the color stands out for me and the design. Um, yeah, I, I love the special. Caesar stone tops. And I must say, I am in love with the Smeg oven. The cream Smeg ovens are beautiful. And what's your favorite? Beautiful. What's your favorite appliance? You would say? In the kitchen. Yes. Am I allowed to say that? I think Please. I'm gonna get. Um, I can't wait for you to get the but I love a microwave <laughs> because I have small children. Really? What about yes. the induction stove? Yeah. I, well. Dolk, I smeg for my will here, then maybe I'll try the induction stuff. But I've never tried an induction, I've got a gas hob. But um, what is your, what would you say, what is your favorite? Yeah, I, I, I like, I must say, once again, it depends on whether you, which style of kitchen you go mm. for. Um, you know, but I, I, I must say, I like the, the modern, mm. the modern style with the pop-up mm. extractor. I like the color of the modern country. With the with the yellow yes. uh, freestanding oven, I mean what we did on the minty show yes. with that cream cream style. So it all depends on I think your house, mm. the house of the, the style of the house mm. versus the kitchen, and then obviously complements with the plants. Yeah, I must say so. Two things that I've never seen before that I saw here today, which I didn't think was going to happen, is you mentioned it, the pop up extractor fan, which is something I've never ever seen before. And the, obviously, the opening the doors opening itself. So, congratulations! You are definitely um, on the forefront, setting the trends. Thank you. Um, so, Universal Kitchens are well known for creating storage solutions. So, what would you say has made the biggest impact in your kitchen? Well, 
if I if I from 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 the past, you know, we've dealt with 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 various of brands. Uh, I don't want to call any names, but you know, we've now partnered with with Bloom, mm. uh, which is well known um, a well known brand for storage solutions such as uh, the internal drawer systems, spice racks, um, the larder systems, the flap systems. Um, you know, the rubber mattings. Just the variance of, of different cutlery trays, inserts, mm -hmm. um, you know, just a lot of things they offer us and and we would like to, you know, to thank them mm -hmm. um, for being part of, of our brand and I think it's good for us to be associated with them. And Hadman Lensing, of course, is a very well known, very well loved chef and is also um, on my show and I know he's just as fond of Universal Kitchens. Um, so let's talk cooking, let's talk food. Um, what is your, can I ask you that question, yes. Nikki? What is your favorite dish or your favorite, yeah, your favorite dish? My favorite dish or the, 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 my favorite one that Hammond's created. Correct. Well, it's very difficult because actually I cannot remember. <laughs> to be very honest, there's been so many. Um, but uh, thinking quickly now on my feet, um, he once did a, a avocado salad, so it was a pasta, a cold avo and pasta salad. It was very popular and I never thought that you could actually make a pasta sauce with avo. Okay, so. so what would your advice be if someone now comes to you and they want to build their dream kitchen? Well, first of all, they must, they must get in contact with us. Um, then, then obviously our senior consultants such as Louis and Jakes from our, from our uh, George, George branch and then we've got people, myself consultants, also senior people that's been with us for years, um, such as Rob, uh, I've got Melissa there, I've got um, Siobhan there, we've got, yeah, mm. name, just to name a few. Um, so first of all, you start with, this, with your space, nice. our experts will then from there on uh, meet you, they'll run through the process, what your likes, what your dislikes, what your style, what's the type of style of the house, mm colors what do you like you know just um, have a get have a, a good feel. get a feel have mm -hmm. a good relationship and from there mm -hmm. onwards design the kitchen um, based on your likes and then obviously you come in for a consultation uh, to view the to view the presentation to view the design the 3d professional rending that we yes. do and, um, and from there onwards um, it's a surprise and, and, and the question on everyone's lips, and this is what people want to know, is how willing are you to budget? Are you willing to work within a budget? Because that's always my husband's first question. Yes, and I'm we, asking we for do, all the wives out there. We do, you know, we do uh, definitely work into the budget. Mm -hmm. I won't say that we're the most cheapest. I won't say that we're the most expensive. Uh, we set our brand out there that, you know, we've got a, we've got a, it's a relationship, you know, uh, you're part of the family, it's experience, it's mm. trust, it's, it's a lot of things that entails a price, you mm. know, um, and plus, you know, what we did in our Afrikaans uh, TV ad, um, and on one of the A&R product, myself was Afsla, so <laughs> just bear that in mind, you know, um, it, it's not going about the money, it's going about the experience yes. and all, being part of us. In good cook, cook is the cook. Correct. That's it. For all in a cook. Minky, what is your favorite dish that you will prepare for your family? Clinton, to be Can honest. Can I say to you? Yes. Take a look. No. Have you not? Oh, I forgot. You're not on social media. So you won't see that I actually cook four or five nights out of the week. We cook. We use your cook. We love it. Um, but because I do so much cooking during the week, I love it when my husband takes the reins and he um, is very good at frying meat. So we love like um, cooking big pieces of steak, like a full piece. So uh, see, it's near full piece, near like, just, like a solid piece of full steak. Full portion. A full, yeah, but like a big chunk, not the small. Then he will <coughs> he will fry it and then he will cut it into pieces later. But then it's perfectly cooked. Mm. Nice, nice. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs>